Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you for the Gaming Cave. Today we're playing Tiger Leader from DVG Games. And I'm using a spreadsheet for the game tracker. I got this from Board Game Geek. Unfortunately, when I shot my video, when I sh originally shot this, my microphone wasn't working. So um, I'm having to do a voiceover so things may not match up exactly. As you can see from this is the uh, sheet, I've got all my leaders listed and what levels they're at, what their cool level is. I started with uh, this campaign with 85 points. And then um, I've already gone through and um, assigned everything to everybody. I decided to buy a scout car and a truck which cost me three SOs. Uh, first time I plugged it in the wrong box. Uh, then when I plugged it in over here, it took it out double. <laughs> so I had to come down, make that change, make that zero for those other SO points. And then when I put the car and the truck in, it plugged them in the proper way. Um, I had 10 SO points left and now I have seven. So um, here's where I signed. I did a random draw. Well, semi-random uh, for what I wanted. I wanted one of each infantry type. I wanted one anti-tank gun or artillery piece. Um, and I wanted one light armor. And then I picked three armors. And those, when I got to those selections, I shuffled up the cards that were available and then drew them and made those random. And then um, the leaders, of course, you pick your infantry leaders for the infantry counter. So I shuffled them and picked those guys in the order um, that made them the uh, correct, um, whether they were recruits, green, and going through there that way. So uh, that made it uh, semi-random is what I like to call it. But we are... Uh, that's what I'm showing you here. And uh, like I said, I kind of assigned them there. So I'm going to play with the leaders that are across from where they're at. And then if I need to, um, I can put in their damage and stuff. Uh, I didn't do that because actually I can use this sheet to do that. But I didn't. I did not do it in my first set. This is the third tab. It just shows you all the different calculations in the game for those sheets and your pull down menus so that when you plug these guys in, then it loads them up and it does all the math the correct way. So I think we will uh, be able to get over to the um, game board here in just a minute and get started. And then I'll have to do this again in the uh, middle of the first week when we get everything settled here. All right, see you guys at the board. Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. And today we're going to play a game I haven't played in whew, over a year anyway. Uh, Tiger Leader from DVG, Dan Versen Games. Alright, so Tiger Leader, there was a base game and then there was a, an update to it. I do have the update, it has all the extras in it. I am using Russian commanders. Uh, you draw one for each battalion as they come up. Uh, we'll go through and shuffle a couple of these decks just so you know. Uh, I will show you um, the uh, setup on the sheet that I'm using. Uh, so I will uh, cut away, put that in, and then come back to that. A couple other things I have in my tiles, and I'll show them as they pop up, but I have mixed in some of the new update tiles along with um, the original tiles. And you can tell the difference in them, which I don't mind. Uh, but we'll, I'll make sure you see them. Uh, the campaign we're going to start with is Invasion of Russia, 1941. It's a standard uh, battle. It is winner, so I'm using the winner. And I add one to the SO point cost to attack, breakthrough, and rear battalions. And that's uh, the way I started to recruit two green, two average, two skill, and uh, one vehicle. And you know what? I just saw that, and I got to go back to my leaders and make sure that I have the right number. I have one veteran, I have two skilled, I have one average there. 
Aha, uh -huh. there's an average there, two average. It should be two recruit and two green. I think I have one too many green in there. Average, green, green, green. Yeah, recruit, recruit. Okay, so I'm going to take these green guys right now. Green, green, green. So there's three of them. One of these guys should be an average. So we're going to fix him right now. And it's going to be this guy, Beck. Okay, so Beck is now average. So we pull his card out. And should be on the other side here. Skilled. He goes down to average. And that makes Beck. He's an average. That's good. That's one of my armor guys too. Okay, so I got to adjust that on my sheet. And then we'll be ready to go. Um, I pulled all my units, which I'm going to describe to them. And uh, let's see. So buy my units, select my commanders. I have that. Then we're going to come back. I'm going to go adjust my sheet. Then we'll be back. And then we'll start with our special condition card, assign our units, and we'll be underway. Uh, one other thing I'll show you real quick. I did go out on Board Game Geek and I saw Stuka Joe had put out a, um, he does these once in a while, these, these, uh, um, oh shoot, my mind, <laughs> uh, the sequence of event cards. Um, you can cut these and put them in, but I just kept them as a whole sheet. They're numbered. There's not that many of them. So these give you, you know, what you should be doing. Just kind of keep me in track here. I'm going to follow along with this start of week one, start of week two, all that. Each battle, um, each battle turn sequence. And then when you flip it over, each battle post combat, end of week, end of week in the campaign and then attack procedure so that's just to help me keep honest because it has been a while since i played i am going to use the red die for the russians and the blue die for the germans and i have a six-sided die which we have to roll um up here also uh, when we're getting started okay so let me go make my adjustment here for beck put him up at average uh, and then we'll be ready to go from there Okay, uh, the objectives card that we're doing is for the right. Sorry for the glare. Um, starting S points 50, which I hit to 35, got me the 85. It's only three weeks, and we get eight weekly points. I get 24 battalion points that I drew already. Ended up with 25. Um, add five to all battalion operational move rolls during the first week. So they're going to be... a um, the enemy is going to be aggressive. Uh, you gain one extra attack die when attacking at range zero. Okay, so if I get in close, I get an extra attack die. So there's a lot there. Um, see what we can do here. Uh, next thing we do is we draw our special condition card. And our special condition card, armor piercing shortage. Pay one SO point or treat all allied tanks as having plus one defense. Well, I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to pay the SO point. Okay, so I'm going to slip over here. And... Minus one on my SO points. And I paid that and it drops me to six SO points. Okay, so that one's used up. We'll set it up here. Okay, I don't need no... <laughs> armor piercing shortage going into a tank battle um oh yeah and the two uh the 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 two cards we're going to go against is 17a armored assault and then i'm going to go up here in a breakthrough and go after uh the supply convoy i can earn four so points if I destroy that one so that'll be my second attack right there okay um, assign my units so these are my units it is the Stug 3 the Panzer 3 the anti-tank team the anti-tank gun and my uh, light armor the SD KFZ 231 so um, he's there um, in case I need him with the uh, and I tank gun.
Okay, but this guy's handy. He can hit armor and he can hit HE. And he is my veteran. So he's like the best one too on top of that. Okay, so I'm going to have my armor. Um, I'm going to lay him uh, down here. I'm going to lay him out down here. And then I got to get my leaders uh, for them also. Let's see, this is uh, 732. I already pulled my counters out so I'd have them. And then I have 23, that's my Stug. And 392, my Panzer three. I have uh, 1007, which is my anti-tank team. And my anti-tank gun is 962. Okay. All right. And then I'll get my leaders out and put them right down here beside these guys or with them right here. And uh, I've, I've kind of got them assigned on my sheet. I'm going to use them that way, I think, to start. We'll see how it works out. So I'll be right back. Okay. So here's what we got. We've got uh, my uh, SDKFZ, uh, and he'll, I gotta put his uh, tactics marker on him. He has, uh, he has two command tactics. We have these little markers. We put them on there. He has two command tactics for that. And those can be given to anybody. And my leader has two tactics. So those are really handy where he's in a battle because he can give command tactics to anybody. All right. He also has the overdrive, which means he can go um, faster. His speed's a two. I think he can go three that way. I have a smelter from our artillery unit. He also has two command. Oops. He has two command tactics. Uh, my anti-tank team, minus one attack when moving, two stress if move and attack, and they get one tactic for the anti-tank team. Uh, their leader is Haas. He's average, um, but he's good at plus one um, at greater than one range. So I like that. My Panzer three minus one attack when moving. Um, he has to be within range 2 to attack. Uh, he has Beck. He's average. He has Overdrive. Gives him an extra move space and close combat. If he gets in close, he's deadly. Then I have my Stug 3, minus 2 attack when moving, but he's a heavy hitter. And Winkler is skilled on his armor. So that's where we're at with those guys. All right. So we got all these guys set up here. So we're all set. Sorry, I was, had the camera pointing over there while I was doing a lot of these, but they're all set now. We're ready to go. Um, I'll try to keep this down here as much as we can. All right. Now we draw. Oh, I was supposed to draw my special condition card first. Oh, I did that already. It was the enemy armor piercing. Good Lord, Dave. Okay, I assigned a scout card to this. So he's going to be used. Let's see, I'll put him up here at the top now. He's used. And that means my battle turns up here are going to, instead of being five, they're going to be six. So we pre-scouted these guys. We know where they're at. It gives us a little better chance at them. Okay. All right. Signed our units. We draw an event card. Okay, so this event card is for this battle. Deep mud. Crap. <laughs> Subtract two from enemy tactical rolls and friendly AP units are limited to one hex of movement per turn this battle. Blah. Okay, we're going to put this somewhere along here where I won't forget about it. Okay, so subtract two from his rolls. I'll lay it here. I'll have to move it out of my way eventually. Um, okay. Placed our turn counter. Now we place our terrain files. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and for this, I'll shuffle these guys up because I, I, you'll have to trust me. The event cards and the special conditions and all that were shuffled. Or I wouldn't have had deep mud. <laughs> if I was going to. This battalion gets 
Semyon Krivoshane. I don't know my Russian's not very good. Gain three SOs. He is a command tank. Okay, so I'm going to gain three SOs. He is a command tank. So I add a tank at the start of the battle in Hex 2. Until the tank is destroyed, all units gain plus one attack and defense. All right. I'm going to have to... Let's see. i got to figure out how to mark that thing. Maybe a cube on top of it so I don't forget which one it is. Uh, so we'll have to do that also. Okay. Then we have... We have place train tiles. So here's the stack. It's a pretty big stack. So what I'm going to do is, because it's hard to shuffle these, we're going to mix. And I'm going to take the one off the bottom, and then we're going to mix. And I'm going to do it that way. Or I could just take the one I dropped. Why don't we do that? Okay. This is one of the newer ones. These are light terrain, where you see the trees. And this goes... Up here, so we put it in. That little gray arrow points you that direction. All right, so let's try this again. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, there's no easy way to do it. Let's just take it. Ah, bogging. So they could get bogged down back here. That would be good if uh, the Russians are bogged down in the mud too. Okay, move this. Here we go. Next one is another light train. So we got a lot of light train in here for this armor battle so far. I do not have the roads in here. I do not have the rivers and I do not have the cities. I want to keep it a little bit on the basic side. If I go to play Sherman Leader, I'll add everything back in. Some more light train. So the Russians are going to have a lot of light terrain blocking um, blocking this. Now, the single tree is not light terrain. It's the ones with the L on them that make the light terrain. All these are new tiles so far. There's another one. Light terrain. Okay. I'm going to double check what I just said there in the rules for the train because this one shows one tree. So I would say they're all light train then. Okay. And here we go. So we have a lot of light train in this Russian front. Okay. So there we are. Um, so the train is set. I have to place my friendly units. Okay. Well, they have to go in rows one and two. Oh, man. I think I'm going to put 962 here. That's my gun. I'm going to put this with him here. I need a, uh, I want my anti tank team. Whew. Boy. This is going to be tough. I want him. I think I'll put him here also. Let me see if I can move him up this way. My Panzer, he can be over here. And my Stug can be over here. And all this terrain is blocking us, I think. Um, so I'll have to roll. Um, See how that goes. Okay, so there's mine. Now I have to place the enemy units. So I'm going to get this command tank out and uh, mark him. Okay, so we have a tank. These are the Russian tanks. And he gets a red, put a red cube on him. And that way he goes into two. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. All right, so we put him something like that, but it goes in X2. Okay, that's where the command tank, and he might be even be bogged. 
So roll when entering. And I think I have to, I'm going to check this real quick at the start of the game, if they start in the bog. When you use placed an in or enters a roll of die, determine the result. Okay, so we have to roll when these guys get all placed and we'll find out, um, we'll find out where they're going to be. All right, the rest of the counters, I have uh, four tanks, two half tracks, and two armored cars. I got to place them and then I'll be back. Uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch me roll the die. Okay, my troops there, the Russians, uh, they have a tank here. They have a conglomeration in this light cover here. They have um, two tanks, two armored cars and a half track. They have a tank that could be bogged here. They have their command tank that could be bogged and a half track back there. Um, okay, so we're gonna roll for the bogging. We'll start with the command tank. Uh, three or less, he's stuck for the battle. Three, he's not moving. Okay, so now we're gonna mark him with Let's put another marker here with him. Let's make it a black. He can't move. He's stuck. We'll put that there beside him. Now for the other tank, see what he gets. He gets a seven. So seven, he stopped acting, but it's on the start. So it's not doing anything to him. So he'll be able to move. Um, the only time you have to roll for that is when they move into the bog. Double check that real quick. When a unit is placed in or enters a bogging hex. Okay, unit cannot move or attack again this turn. So he can't move. He's stuck right now. He can't move at all, which makes him a plus two. Um, one, two. I can even get a shot on him because it's clear. That's why I want that 105 over there. I get a shot at that guy maybe. Okay. Yes, I like that. Okay, unit is a plus two to be attacked. So if I can kill that tank, that's a big uh, boost for me because he's going <coughs> to, he's giving them a plus one to their attack and a plus one to their defense. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's how the bog works. All right. Fast move and attack. Okay. So I'm looking for my fast move guys. He's a slow, he's a slow, he's a slow, he's a slow. And Winkler in the Stug is a fast, so he can move first. All right, so Winkler in my Stug, which is number 23, he's moving first. He moves up. All right. And then I'm going to move... I'm not going to move yet. I'd rather see what those guys are going to do before I go jumping up through here into some of this terrain. Um, trying to decide what I want to do. So I want to get a clear shot at that command tank though with my gun. That's going to be big for me. Okay, next thing we have to do, we have to roll uh, to see if they're going to use 1d6 or a d10 here. This is part of the uh, campaign. So a one to five, oh, I use a D10 die. A one to five, they're gonna use a D6. A six to 10, a D10. They roll a four. So a four, they're gonna use a D6 on this table, which really isn't as good for me because I want these guys to be aggressive and start coming at me, not, um, laying back here like that okay so that was my fast guy went he's the only guy I had that could move I moved him up here see if he can the trains still blocked so they can't fire at me okay so the next thing we do subtract two from enemy tactical rolls and friendly AP units are limited to one hex of movement per turn well my stug only moved one anyway okay so that makes that difficult. 
Um, where I have overdrive, though, I can overcome that if I need to go two. But right now, it's one. Okay. All right. This is a... Man, this is almost like a wooded area that we're getting ready to battle in with some little open clearing up there. Add one to the SO point cost to... Nope. Attack breakthrough cost. Add five to all battalion operational moves. This is tactical move, so I don't do that yet on the first move. So they're going to have a good chance of them moving up. Okay. So we subtract two from this. So here we go. We roll. It is a one, which makes it zero. Okay. Tank, anti-tank, armored cars. They go retreat to cover. Well, this tank, he can't retreat because there's no, he can. I take that back. That is light terrain in that bog right there. He is going to retreat and he has to roll for the bog. Let's see if he gets stuck. Oh, you know what? He doesn't do anything this turn because we did his bog roll. So he stays there. He doesn't move. Okay. My other tanks, they're in cover. He's not. He retreats to cover. He can go to either one of these. So we'll roll. Uh, one to five, he'll go where the half track is. He got a seven. So this tank is dropping back into this cover. Okay. These tank, All of these guys are in cover. They won't move. And... He does half tracks do retreat. Half track is retreat. And a retreat for this half track eliminates him. So there's my first one off the board. So there's one I don't have to go kill. I get points. I get my points for that one. This half track is going to retreat to cover. He can go either one. I'm going to roll. He see which way he's going to go. Do the same thing, one to five, it's in the bog. It's a three, he does move into the bog. Okay, now we gotta roll to see if he gets bogged down or what happens. He gets a five. So he just stops right there and that's where he sits. Okay, so he doesn't move anymore. Okay, that's it for the Russians. Now we do ours. Okay, I'm gonna move my SDKFZ, up. let's see, I'm going to move my anti-tank team here. They're under cover. I'm going to move um, this tank. He's going to roll up here. I'm going to move my anti-tank gun into this terrain. And I'm going to move my SDKFZ into this terrain right here. All right. Is that what I wanted? Or do I want him over here? What's his range? Range is zero to one. So he's not going to hit anything anyway. I'll put him here. Okay. That's it. All right. Slow move and attack, advance turn. He cannot attack when he moves. Let's see, my anti-tank team, zero to one, so they're not close enough to do anything yet. Um, my Panzer three, he can't see anybody yet. And my Stug, he can't see anybody yet. I gotta get him out here. I should have put that Panzer over there and moved them both over there. He can fire there, or he can fire there. So I'm trying to get my stug man maneuvered here. Um, this is tough because i got to get up on these guys. But right now, that's the end of turn six. Advance the turn counter. Okay, here we go. Fast Commander's Act. So I have my um, Panzer III. Yeah. I don't really want to put him right there just yet. I think I'll move him over here. Nope, wrong guy. Panzer III is not the fast guy. The Stug is the fast guy. If I move him, 
he's going to be in the line of fire. I could give him a command tactic where he could fire next turn if I need to. And that way, let's see, command tactics. I need to look at that real quick. I want to make sure I'm doing that right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, my Stug's going to move up here. I got to get him up here. He's in light cover, but he can fire now. Got to be aggressive here. Um, and then Martin, right here. Nope, Smelter. He's going to use a command tactic and go fast. And he is the spotter skill. And spotter means unit ignores blocking line of sight terrain hexes so nothing blocks him he could have stayed here and fired one two three shoot i wasn't paying attention that's okay he's up here he's a range two there or a range three to to that command tank and that command tank's the one i really want to get okay so we're going to fire at the command tank at a range of three that gun is let's see if that's doable or not he gets a six but Anti-tank, tank, anti-tank, tank, anti-car. Move and attack penalty. Well, he can't move and attack. So his range attack at range three is minus two. Okay. So his commander rating is a plus two. Minus two for the range. That leaves me at zero, so I'm still at a six to hit one two three he's bogged down he's a plus two um that makes so plus two to his defense his defense is three so bogged a bogged vehicle Unit is plus two. Mark with a bogged counter. Oh, there's bogged counters. Ha! Huh. I'll bet they're in my Sherman leader game. Yeah, well, that's okay. Marked him this way with the black. Okay. He's bogged. He's going to get a plus two um, when he's attacked to his defense. So I got to hit him and then his defense. That's the way I read that. I'm going to just look at it one more time. Just trying to be sure here, guys. Bogging hexes. Stuck for battle. Unit cannot move or attack in that turn. And the unit cannot move again during the battle. Mark with a bogged counter. The unit is plus two to be attacked. Okay. So plus two would be on his defense is the way I take that. All right. So I need a, right now I'm at six. I have a plus two because I'm firing at uh, long range, range greater than one. He's a spotter, so no terrain would block it anyway. He has a... A minus two because the range is three, so that's even. So I'm at six. I need a six. I need six or higher to hit. Here we go. Six or higher. I really won't be able to see the die rolls. Here we go. Six or higher. Oh my gosh. Five. Four. We missed. So I didn't hit him. Okay. Meltzer tried. He's slow. He's going to get another shot, but I really wanted that shot right then. Okay. Anybody else? I could give a command tactic to my Sherman. Get him, or Sherman, my Panzer III. But I think I'm going to save that so he can fire early again next time. Because I really, 
I can't see those guys. Well, I spot her so I can see through that train. So I can spot all these guys here. That's key for him. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for my fast. My stug moved. He can... If he moves and fires, he's minus two. Uh, range two. Range two to here. Um, range two right there to against one of these guys might be nice. Um, hit that tank. He can move and fire. So he would be... Like to hit this tank over here so he's going to be a he's a five he gets a minus two the leaders a zero so nothing there so now he needs a seven or higher it's it's he needs a five it's minus two to the die roll basically is what we're saying and he's in that cover which gives him I think that goes that go on the defense side cover don't worry guys as soon as I get through the, the turn of this we'll be all right we'll be back in the I just want to make sure again I just want to make sure I'm doing it right for you um, cover it's cover cover adds to the units defense that's right so for me to hit he's gonna fire he's at a five and he's at range is two and a range of two range of two is minus one so he needs an he's going to have minus three on his die roll minus three he's firing at this tank two dice Minus three, he needs a five to hit. Ho, ho, ho. Eight minus three is a five. And nice, ten. So he hits him. His defense is three. He gets one because of the command tank. Makes him a four. And he gets one because of the train. So he hits a five. He needs five or less. Going to roll both dice. If either one of them's higher than five, I kill him. I get, oh, three. That one bounced off, but I got an eight. Bam, killed a tank. He's down. All right. Whew. <laughs> that was pretty big, let me tell you. <laughs> that, was, that was really big. All right. So my Stug did his job. Now we roll for the Germans. See what they're going to do. This is on the tactical movement. He gets a six. He gets um, minus two because of the deep mud, so that makes it a four. So his tactical move is going to be four. Okay, tank, anti tank, and armored car. Well, this tank can fire at my stug, so he's going to fire. He won't move. This tank can fire at the gun. This tank can fire at the gun. His range is three. Uh, my gun is artillery, which is HE. His range is still three. His range is still is three. So they can fire at my gun, or he can fire here. It's range two, it's range two. They're both in light terrain. So um, He can fire, so he won't be moving. He can fire to Stug. All right, so let's work this direction, this this direction here. Okay, command tank can fire. Range is one, two, three. One, he can't see that because this hex, he doesn't have a clear line. So he can only fire here at my gun. So he needs a two or higher to hit. Damn. At range three, though, he's going to have a... He gets a plus one to his die roll because of the command tank. And he gets, at range three, he gets minus two. It's 
So now he's at minus 1. Okay. He's at a minus 1 to his die roll. He can't move, so he can't move and fire. Okay. So he's here. Okay, he's going to fire. He's at a minus one. He needs a... Wow. He needs a... Two or higher to hit, and he's minus one to the die roll. He hits. Oh, a three makes that a two, but he got a two. One. So he scores one hit. I got to roll my defense. I get one die for the hit. Here we go. My defense is a one. I'm in light cover. I get to add one to my die roll. So I need a one or less. Yeah, I need a one or less and subtract one from the die roll. Four. Minus one is a three. So I take a hit on my anti-tank gun. So I got all these hit parts in here. Okay. Get them down in there. And we pull out. Casualty. Okay. So one casualty is okay. We can recover from that. Right? Casualty. No effect, but two of them, it destroys the gun. Okay. So I took a casualty hit. All right. So back here, the half track is adjacent cover. So he can move to adjacent cover. Which means that he can move Heaviest adjacent cover. So that would be here or here. They're both light covers. And he's still in that one. Okay. So he's going to roll. And on a 1 to 5, he'll move up here with these guys. Nope. He's going to move over here. So he's out of the bog. That's good for him. Okay. This tank... Advance to cover, he can't. He'll fire at the Stug at range two. He needs a two to hit. And then he gets at range two, he's a minus one. I'm in light cover, that's for my defense. So he's a minus one. He needs a two or higher. He gets a one, that's a miss. And he gets a three, that's a hit. Okay, I gotta roll my defense. My Stug is a defense of two, and he's in light cover, so he's a defense of three. He needs a three or less. Eight. They hit him. Here we go. Here we go. The Stug gets glancing blow. Okay, I'll have to repair it. Uh, glancing is suffer one stress at the start of battles. Okay. So right now, there's no effect, but if the next battle, he'll have a um, stress. <laughs> okay. That's it for that tank. Now we have this tank. He can fire here. He can fire here. Okay. My gun has a defensive one. Now, he should move, though, first, because he's supposed to advance the cover. And I'm just going to check myself there to make sure that they move and then fire. So I'll be right back. Okay, I was right. He uh, So he advances here, and now he can fire. He's got a choice of three targets. He would fire at the weakest one. Let's see. He's a defensive two. My anti-tank team is a defense of three, and my KFZ is a defense of one. That's who he's going to fire at. He's going to try to hit my command vehicle right there. Okay. He's a two. 
Let's see, he moves an attack, that's a minus one. At range one is zero, so he's at minus one. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope. So he's a minus one. We're gonna roll. And he's a two to hit. Minus one. Oh. So a three and a ten. So he gets two hits. My KFZ is a defensive one. He's in the light cover, so it's a two or less. Nope, seven and three. So he takes two hits. Okay. So he spotted him. He spotted my command vehicle. Yeah, cool. I'm going to put it over here on the left. First one is exposed. I think. Light armor. Which side does he get? Let's see for damage. Vehicle hits, infantry hits. Yeah, so it's a vehicle hit. So he's exposed. Okay. Makes him vulnerable for the next shot. And suspension, one stress. So he takes a suspension hit. Cannot move or enter battle. So we're damaged. We can't move. We're exposed. And he takes a stress. Okay, so they now have a stress right there. Okay. Well, I survived that tank attack. That's the big thing there. <laughs> okay, these guys can see that tank there. This tank advanced to cover. So he would advance to here. And he can fire either at the Stug or at the um, Panzer. Uh, the Stug has a defensive two, the Panzer has a defensive two, so he's going to roll one to five will be the Panzer. He gets a four. He's firing at the Panzer. Okay. Here we go. He moved. Makes him minus one. Zero here. So he needs a two or less, two or more to hit. Minus one. Well, a ten and a five. That's two hits. My Panzer is a defensive two, plus one for the train, so he's a three. We need a three or less. Oh, dang. He got a three and a four. So he takes one hit. Okay. He gets... Exposed. All right. My panzer is exposed, they seem. All right. Now I have two armored cars. Armored cars advance to cover. So they can go to either one of these. Actually, he could have gone to either one, but I put him there. That's okay. So we're going to roll for this one. One to five, he goes over here. Nine. So he's going to move here. And a range of two, he can fire here and here. Okay. So one to five, you'll fire at the Panzer. Two, that's where he's firing. He needs a seven or higher to hit, and he moved. And, and a, he's a minus one. And that's it. He moved, he's a minus one. So his die roll, he needs seven or higher to hit. He gets a two and an eight. The eight makes a hit. My Panzer, he's a two and a defense of three. And exposed, what did that do? Uh, let's see, exposed. Plus two to be hit starting next turn. Okay. Yeah, so not yet. Okay, three or less, two. It bounced off. Okay, that armored car didn't do anything. Okay, we got one more armored car. He goes five. He's also moving here. Okay. 
he can fire at any of these guys but the weakest one is the command vehicle he's going to fire there he's a seven it's minus one for moving he gets a two and a seven so both both shots missed minus one okay so he missed all right that's all his movements now it's time for me to fire all right i got my anti-tank gun is firing at that command tank well, i've been forgetting to add one to all their attacks too Whew. okay and their defense gets one, but I don't. I haven't killed anybody since that guy, but I had him. Okay, so here we go. We're going to fire at him at range three. That's minus two. My leader's a plus two for that. So that's a zero. He's in light cover, but I need a six or higher to hit. Three, <laughs> seven. Scored one hit. Okay, he's going to roll. He's a defense of three. He gets one for the... Oh, I had plus two. Wouldn't have mattered because he was bogged. That made that a five, so I still missed. Okay, darn. <laughs> All right, one hit. Let's see if it'll kill him, though. Um, he's a three. He gets one for defense. Because it's a command tank and one for the... So that's a five. Five or less, it bounces off. Seven! Big. I killed the command tank. Boom. It's gone. Eliminated that sucker out of the game. He won't be bought. Now they lose all their modifiers. Here we go. Just killed their command tank. All right. My anti-tank team is firing at this tank right here. <laughs> So here he goes. He's firing right there. The anti-tank team is... He needs a 5 to hit. <clears throat> yeah, and they can be fast too. So I'm going to get... If I don't kill these guys, I'm going to get first shots on them next time. This is what I wanted. These guys to move up here. I got my long range shot. He can fire into there if he needs to. Um, next turn. So... He can take a couple shots next turn. Yeah, this is this is going well here, I think. Okay, here we go. Anti-tank team, he's firing. He needs a five to hit at range one. There's no modifier. Uh, Haas at range one is a plus one. So now they're a plus one to my die roll. I think that's it. So plus one, we need five or higher, plus one. He gets 10, that's a hit, and 8, that's a hit. Two hits on that tank, my anti-tank team. His defense is 3, plus 1 for the cover. So he's a 4 or less. He gets a 4. The first round bounced off, but then we killed it with a 9. Bam, he's down. All right, nailed him. My SDKFZ is firing at that armored car. He can't move, but he can fire. Okay, he's a um, eight to hit him. Needs an eight to hit. No modifier. Um, no modifier. It's a pure eight to hit. Eight or higher. Come on. Eight or higher. Eight. I got a six and an eight. I hit him. Way to go. Now, his defense is two. He gets one there. He needs three or lower. One die. Three or lower. Seven. Killed the armored car. He's down two. Bam. All right. Now, I got my Panzer fire. Sorry, I changed my battery. Okay. So I got my Panzer three. He's at range one to this tank. Uh, no modifier there. No, nothing down. He is a seven or higher to hit. So I need a seven or higher. Okay, here we go. Come on, buddy. Hit this guy. <laughs> or, or, 
I could move in and get my close combat, which gives me a third die. Oh, I would like that. Yes, I would really like that. So I'm going to be a minus one for moving. I'll be at, oh yeah. He's moving in here with this tank. Here he goes. We're cutting. This is what we're talking about, being aggressive right here. He's moving in on this guy. All right. I get close combat. So in close combat, I get, this is going to help me a lot. <laughs> Extra die. All right. I'm going to get another die out here for the Americans. I think for the, uh, you know the blue die? Yeah. Okay. I get an extra chance here with this guy because he's a close combat specialist. So he moved in with that. He's after that tank now. Okay. And at um, zero range. Okay. And, uh... Z is the reversed moving attack penalty if attacking at range zero. So that's plus one for being there. He gets minus one for moving. So that's zero. He gets an extra die um, for there. But at close range with this tank, he's a plus one. So I get plus one. I need seven or higher. And I got three dice. Here we go. Eight. That's a hit. Six plus one seven, that's a hit. Nine plus one, that's a hit. We're gonna start with two dice and then I'll roll a third one if I need to. His defense is three. And we're in this light cover, makes him a four. Oh, 10 and a nine, he blew his turret off of me. <laughs> Killed that tank, that's what I wanted right there. Bam, slaughtered him. All right, now. My Stug, he really should fire at this guy, but I'll be okay here, I think. He's firing at this tank at range two, right there. Okay, my Stug's at, he's a five. He's a five to hit. And at range two, he's a minus one. That's it. Although the Stug fired already because he was a he was a fast. I could give him a tactic though, and I'm going to I'm going to give him a command tactic off of my um, SDK of Z. I'm going to reduce it to one now, and my Stug's going to fire over here at this tank. Okay, he needs a five, and it's minus one to his die roll because of the range. Okay. Gets oh two and a three. Stug missed. Okay. He missed. Everybody else is done. Okay, that's it for that turn. Now, turn four, we gotta add up how many points do they have left. They have one, four, six, and six on this. And I gotta get him down to three. I gotta kill this other tank. That's the big thing right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Stug firing at him again. He gets two dice. He's minus one. Here he goes. He's firing. Minus one. Oh, gee whiz. You won't believe it. One, that was a one. Sorry. One and a one. He missed. That Stug can't hit nothing. Okay, this tank, he can kill him. See my anti tank. <clears throat> this gun can't do anything here. He can move. This tank kills him. It leaves me there, or I fire at this tank and I take my chances with him at close range. That's what I'm going to do. My Panzer can fire. Range is two, so he's a minus one. He's a zero. That's a seven. That means I got to get an eight or higher to hit. Wow, that's not very good. If I fire at this armored car, 
I get three dice. That's what he's doing. He's going to blast this guy and see if he can kill him. Okay. He's going to fire here. I have to use a tactic to do this. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give him another tactic because he's slow. So I've used up all my command tactics now. All right. He's going to fire. He could fire there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to use a tactic from my Martin. He's in the command vehicle. Who has... Well, that would be blocking train all the way there. It doesn't help him. But, one, one, two, three. My anti-tank gun can fire because he has the spotter tactic. He's got somebody that can see that armored car. He's going to fire. One, two, three. It's a minus two. But he gets plus two for the leader. So that's a zero modifier. So he's firing and he needs against an armored vehicle. With that so guy, he needs a six, six or higher. He gets one. <laughs> he got an eight. He hit him. Okay. The armored car is a two and he's in the tree, so it's a three. He needs a three or less. And roll it in the dice tower. He gets three. It bounced off. He didn't get a clean shot on him with that gun. Okay. That was his as a slow. He'll get another shot at him if he needs to. Now that leaves me with this Panzer firing at that armored car. Absolutely going to do that. I have to use this tactic to do it. That's what he's going to do. He uses that. He's at. He gets three dice. He gets plus one. Because he's close. Okay, here we go. Plus one. He needs a seven or higher, and he's plus one. He gets a nine. That's a hit. He gets a six. Makes that a seven. That's a hit. He got a three. <laughs> that's a miss. Two hits on the armored car. Three less. Two. Bounced off. Nine. Killed the armored car. He's down. Okay. Now, the Germans. We roll to see what they're going to do here. And it's minus two to the die roll. He gets a three, makes that a one. The tank holds. He'll fire. And the half track retreats. He's off the board. And that's it. That's going to eliminate him. But he gets to fire at the end of this turn. He's going to fire. You can fire at either one of these guys. They're both the same, except he's exposed. And exposed means he gets a plus two. So he's going to fire at that Sherman. Not Sherman, Panzer. Okay, he's at two or less to hit. It's minus two for the range. Let's see, range is two. Minus one. Plus two because I'm exposed. So he gets a plus one. He's going to hit him. Yeah. Seven and nine. He hits him. Bam, bam. All right. Now i got to hope for my defense. My defense is two, and I'm in that, so it's three or less. Eight and two. So I only took one hit. That was a two. One hit. One hit on my hand. And engine. One stress. So he takes the stress. Okay. All right. Last thing here. I don't even have to do anything else. This battle is over. I got him down to three. Um, I think, actually, what did they start with? Yeah, eight was the... Um, Eight was the halfway point, so they were actually reduced anyway. And then three is the eliminated, so they're eliminated. I'll verify that real quick. 
at number four and five, half destroyed. Okay, it's reduced to half if the value of the enemy units remaining in the battlefield is reduced to the first number. Yep. And then they're eliminated once you get them down to three. It's that last armor. I don't have to go after it. Battle's over. Okay, this one's over. So we're now at end of week. Post each post battle, draw an event card. We draw an event card. We look at the bottom one. At the end of the week, each shaken commander in your command gains two XP. So we'll hang on to this. This one's done. This is an event card. It goes there. All right, and we eliminated this guy. I'll, have, I'll need it here. Okay. Battalion destroyed, count the VPs, commander stress, unit damage, commander experience and promotion, fight the next battle. Okay. So I'm just going to review everything here now at the end of the week, make sure I do it right. Because I'm going to have to do end of week. Uh, we're not at end of week yet. We're at post combat battalion status. Eliminated it. All right, so we're back here on our uh, spreadsheet. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're back here on the spreadsheet and I've entered in all their stress levels. Uh, they all ended up at a two. Uh, the guys with the cools uh, got them down to two. And then because they eliminated the battalion, uh, they all ended up with three experience points. And um, that was nice. Uh, no promotions. We got a couple guys that are close but nobody's going to get promoted just yet. And then uh, down here, uh, we put in our victory points. We did eliminate the battalion. Uh, one thing I noticed, because I changed these formulas up here to be uh, the split week. So if I do two attacks, then I've got them doing, so I've got to change the uh, formula down through here and get that corrected. So I'll do that right now and that'll take care of that and then we'll be ready to start uh the second half of the first week so so far so good um everybody's in pretty good shape still and we got a little damage we'll have to take care of that at the end all right so let's get back over to the table all right let's keep going here this is the uh Second attack of the first week. So we're going to uh, go after this uh, 1S, which is a supply convoy in the breakthrough area, which is all the way in the back, back here. It cost me three SO points to attack that, but because I'm going to use my trucks to get me back there, it only cost, they saved me two SOs, it only cost me one to attack back there. Okay, so that's good. So, and this this one was eliminated. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we have our special condition cards. We're going to sign our units. And we're going to be using our Panzer, which has an armor commander in it. Oswald, he is a recruit. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We have a rifle team, a rifle team, a machine gun team, and a mortar team. Okay, so I'm just going to look and see which guys I have assigned to which. Get them placed here. So I'll have the one Panzer one, which is no good against AP, but he is good against uh, armor. All right. Okay, so I have uh, Eschbach, he's a medic, and he's good, um, well, he's just average, but he's a green. He has Rifle Team 1001, I have Pole, he is green, he's good at plus one or zero, but he is cautious, so that means they cannot, they won't attack and move, move and attack, they just move. Uh, my machine gun team is Ziegler. He's a recruit. Uh, he's minus one at one hex or longer. And 
The mortar team is experienced also. That's Stump. And he is good um, for that one plus range, which is what he's going to be at. So I think I got the right commanders with the right units when I did all this. Okay. All right. We do an event card for this one. And our event will be Deep Raid. Keep this card. Discard to pay all the SO points needed to pay for an attack against a transit rear or breakthrough battalion. Well, there you go. I'm going to use this. And that clears that out. Okay, so I don't have to pay any this time. Okay, let me get rid of that. Now we're going to place train tiles. So I do not have the tiles in the stack here that I had before. I only have what was re remaining. Okay, this is still the new version tiles. Right here. I guess he should go here first. One, two, three, four, like that. Okay, here we go. They have a bunch of light uh, train back there. This next one, still light. There. Next one is going to be what? Another new one. I haven't played with any of my old train tiles yet. There's a lot of these guys in here. Okay, next one. I mean, that's a lot of terrain. This one, oh, heavy terrain. So there's some buildings right there, and it's in the favor of the Russians. They get in there first. That's going to be tough. All right, next one. Another light. Well, nothing there other than can't see and last one a couple lights over there all right here we go and put all them back together again all right here we go that's our train next thing we do place our friendly units so let's see i got um 151 1007 oops nope <laughs> 1004 and 1005 that's my machine gun my mortar 1001 and 1002 and for placement we are going to do <clears throat> place my gun machine gun teams anti-tank teams in either the bottom two rows we place rival teams in either the bottom three Okay, so I'm definitely going to get my two rifle teams here and here, right in here. All right, I got an armor, it can be here. I have a machine gun team here, and I have a mortar team who can be, could be better here or here fire into those I think I will put him over here with the panzer okay there's my setup okay same units fast move and attack so here we go anybody fast slow 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 okay I gotta get my tactics put on here he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any, he has one. He has one. Oh, I put all this on there. I still have to place those guys. He gets one, he gets one. Okay, those are my tactics. All right, I got to place the enemy units. Here we go. I'll go um, pull those guys out. I'll get them placed and then we'll come back. All right. So we got a rifle, machine gun, machine gun, armored car, truck, and a truck. Rifle, armored car, truck, and a truck. Okay. They're all back that way. Friendly units, place enemy units, fast move and attack. I don't have any that I want to do that with. Um, 
enemy actions. So here we go. Enemy actions is three. Three. Okay. So we have armored cars. Advance to cover. So he can advance and that'll let him fire. He'll advance. He'll advance to here. He won't be able to fire. He can fire either one of those guys. So one through five, it's 1,001. Ten. He's firing at 1,002, which is this rifle team right here under pole. The cautious guys. All right. Okay. He needs a seven. He needs a five or higher to hit. He was moving. So he's going to be a minus one. So I think that's it. So he gets a eight and a five. The five's a miss. The eight, he gets one hit. My defense is a four. And I'm in the cover so it's a five or less yes Ooh, a one nice no hit okay that armored cars are done now we go rifles and machine guns adjacent cover so let's see i think i better work front to back because these guys are up here he can move to here uh, nothing there. Those are trucks. This machine gun, he could move to either one. So we'll roll one to five is here. Eight. He's moving over here. Okay, this machine gun, one to five to the left. Ten, he moves here. And this rifle, same thing. He gets a two, he moves over here. Okay. And then the trucks are hold, so they don't go anywhere. All right. This rifle moved, he can fire one to five on these guys. He gets a six, so he's gonna fire at 1,002. Uh, let's see, rifle, that's a minus two for moving. So it's minus two. He's gonna fire, he needs a five or higher, minus two. He gets a one and an eight, the eight Cuts down to six, so he scores one hit. Okay, and we are at four. We need a five or less to avoid the hit. He gets a four. All right, no hit. All right, here we go. <clears throat> well, I'd love to get my panzer into that there. Him on a fast speed, he's gonna move my panzer up to here. I'm gonna keep my mortar back here to shell these guys. One, two, three. They move there or there. Um, this machine gun team has a tactic which next turn I could put them in there and bust away on his machine gun, and I'd be in heavy cover. Wow. It's a gutsy move, but you can hit these guys hard right here. He's going to move. All right. My rifles, um, they're going to fire at this rifle company right here, 1001. Um, oops, 1001. He's better when he's at. So 1001 is going to fire at that rifle company. He is a, he needs a 1001, he needs a 5 or less to hit, it's no modifier, he's not moving, no modifier there, so it's 5 or less, 5 or more I should say, 10 and 8, 2 hits, okay, this rifle got me at 3 for defense, 1 for that, so he needs 4 or less. Ah, got him. There's a 10. He's dead. Okay, we killed that. Rifle company's down. Now, that makes a difference. Yeah, because what do you do here? <clears throat> I 
you got to get into this square and that exposes you to their machine gun <laughs> he's cautious he can't move I fired the wrong guys probably yeah shoot he gets one stress if move and attack They're kind of stuck with this stupid armored car here, I'll say. They can't see each other. This is a bad situation. Okay. Machine gun, he moved. The mortar sitting here. Could move him here and here. He is a mortar. Range. He has indirect fire, so he can fire over it, over that stuff. Cannot move and attack. He's going to move here. The mortars are okay. That leaves those guys there. Uh, I could move him here. Has he got a tactic? He does. He's man. It's just so so dangerous, right? Yep. Machine gun team. Trying to get them positioned here. They use a tactic. They don't have to fire. Wow. Oh boy. Okay, do I move him up and then I hit that armored car? Yeah, he's got to do it. He's moving up here and he's going to hit that armored car on the next turn. Okay, that's the end of this turn. We go to turn four. Now, fast moves or fast actions. 1002 is going to use his tactic and he's going to attack the armored car. He's at range zero. His six or less, he's not moving. So at range zero, he gets a plus two to his die roll. And he gets a plus one for his commander. That's plus three to hit the armored car. He hits a seven. That's a hit. And a four plus three is a seven. That's a hit. That's two hits. His defense is two plus one is three. He gets a 2 and a 9. So he killed the armored car. All right. Did their job using their tactic. Now, I could move these guys up to here using their tactic and fire on that machine gun. Let's see. They would need a 5. It would be a 7. Boy, it would be a... Let's see, move there, and then he's in right there with that machine gun. These are all tactics, see. The tank doesn't have the tactic. He's going to have to wait. Yep, the mortar has a tactic. He can move and be set up right here. One, two, he can start lobbing rounds. He's going to use his tactic to move and get him set up. All right, this rifle team... He could move here and fire. I hate to put him in line of fire with the two machine gun nests right there. Yeah. This machine gun team, he can move and fire and see if he can take out that machine gun team. Yeah. <laughs> he can drop mortars next. Yep, on any of these guys. If I move him here, I got two guys to fire into there. He's going to move and fire. It's his tactic. So he's going to be a five. He gets a plus two for moving, a zero for range. And this is 1001. 
He's a zero there, so he's plus two. He gets a plus two. A three and a seven. The three plus two is a five. No, he gets minus two. You're right. For moving the three's a miss the seven gets him down to five he gets one hit on the machine gun team he needs a defense is two cover gives him three or less four got that machine gun team bam that was big okay last one i got's my machine gun team well, the question is let's see 1001 minus 2 in attack and he takes a stress okay so the machine gun team has a stress that's on Eschbach all right the last one's the machine gun team they're going to move into this heavy cover that's his this guys are all going to get to shoot man he can fire now if he wants that's too stress or he can wait. Well, I, I think he needs to fire on that machine gun team is what I think. Okay. So he's going to take two stress. That's on Ziegler. He's still okay. He's at two. But anymore, he's going to become shaken with his machine gun team. All right. At uh, plus one range, he's a minus one. And he moved, which is minus two. That's minus three. So he gets a minus three to his die roll. He's got to have a really good roll. <laughs> he needs a... Oh, it's a one or more to hit. It's minus three. Here we go. Firing at the machine gun team. Oh, yeah. A ten. And a four. Minus three is one. He needed a one. That's a hit. Ten. He got two hits. His defense is two, and he's in light covers three. He gets a one. That one missed. And a four. Killed the machine gun team. All right. Got those guys. Whew, that was close. Now, it's up to see what the Russians are going to do. They get another three, so they stay there. Their anti-tank and armored cars advance to cover. This is heavier cover, so he would advance to there. So he's going to move. He's the only armored car left. He's going to move there, and he's going to attack at minus one and one because his blank is zero. So he's at a zero. Um, he needs a five or higher to hit. He gets a 2 and a 10. So he gets one hit. My machine gun team is a 3. They're in heavy cover, so that's a 5 or less. Oh, 6. So he scores a hit on my machine gun team with that armored car. And it is exposed. Okay, my machine gun team is now exposed. That's no good. All right, now we go um, rifle. Rifle, adjacent cover. He would move into there. And he's going to attack either 1001 or 1002. So 1002 is a 1 to 5. Three. That's who he's going after. So he's going after Paul. He gets no modifiers. So he is a five or higher. He gets nice. Two and two. They missed. All right. The trucks, they hold. So they're just sitting there. Okay. Now we go to slow moves. All right. Here we go. I got my uh, Panzer. I'm just checking something real quick. 
something I was doing wrong. I just want to fix it right now. Cover does not apply to attacks conducted at range zero. You're in the same cover, you don't get the cover benefit. Okay. So if I move my armor up here to this imp to this armored car, it's gonna cost me one to move there, minus one because I'll be at zero and he won't have any cover to defend with. Well that's where he's moving. He's moving there and he's gonna fire. He gets a minus one on because he's attacking when moving and at point at zero range is no modifier. So he gets two dice. He needs a he cannot do that. He cannot attack. Shoot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just noticed that. Put him back. Yeah. That's not good. I'm going to move my armor unit here and he can fire on the truck. Okay, he gets a minus one for moving because this is an HE attack. He can fire on either one of these. He's firing on these guys though. Okay, it's a uh, minus one. He's a six. He's going to get minus one for firing when moving. Minus one because his range is at two. Yep, so he's minus two to the die. So minus two on a and he needs a six to hit. Well, seven and a one. He misses. Okay. I can tell you this machine gun team is moving over here with my armor. Trying to avoid that, and they're not going to fire at anybody. He could have stayed there and fired, but I don't want to have him under the gun of that dude right there. Okay, 1002 is firing at this rifle company. We're at point blank range. So we get, minus, we get plus two to our die roll, and at zero, he gets plus one for the leader, so that's a plus three, and we need a five or higher. He gets a five and a four, so that's two hits on that rifle company, and their defense is three or lower. They get a six and a six. He killed that rifle company. Got rid of him. 1001 is moving here. He's coming to see if he can take care of that armored car. He can fire at this truck, who is not armored. Or is he armored? He's a vehicle, so he is considered armored. I have to get the same square with him to kill him. Okay. There, there, and now I got mortar fire right here. Dropping this mortar fire on this armored car. Okay. Mortar team. He is range of one to three. He's at range two. He is a, this is an armor piercing, armored uh, vehicle, so he needs a seven to hit. At range two, he's minus one, and his leader's a plus one at range, ranges of one or greater, so that's zero, so it is a straight up, seven or higher. Order fire. Nope. Four and a five. He missed. Okay. It was worth a shot. That's the end of that one, which is going to take us to turn three. But before we do, we're going to count what do they got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. And six, he is now at half strength. Okay, so we flip him over to half strength. That's what this means. We flip him from the green side to the red side. And at half strength, he applies a minus two to his die roll for the next turn. Okay, so now all my guys are slows, so they're not doing anything. So it's up to him. Let's see what the Russians are going to do. He rolls a six, which gives him a four, so he stays there. All the trucks hold the armored car adjacent cover. 
advance to adjacent. So there's nothing in front of him to advance to, so he will not move. But he can fire, and he can fire at his defense is four, his defense is three, but he's in heavy cover, which is going to make him a five for defense. He's going to be a five, so it could be either one. So one to five, he'll fire at 1,001. It's a six. He's firing at the machine gun team. Okay. So at range one, there's no modifier. He needs a five or higher to hit. Okay. Five or higher to hit. He gets ugh, seven and eight. <laughs> okay. I've well, got two defense. My machine gun's a three. He's in heavy cover, so that's a five. He needs five or less. Oh, plus he had plus two because he's exposed. Yeah. So he needs a... Five or less to avoid the hits. Shoot, he got seven and six. So two hits on my machine gun team. You know what? And that exposed came off because he moved. Okay. All right, here we go. First hit is no effect. I like that. Second hit is exposed again okay the no effect comes off now they're exposed all right okay here we go i've got this rifle team is moving not firing this rifle team is moving here and attacking the armored car so they're going to take a stress which is going to make them a two and he's going to fire on him. He's at point blank range, so that's a zero. It's a zero, so he's a straight up zero. He needs six or higher to hit. Oh, well, six and two. One hit. He needs two or less for his defense. Woo! Thought it was going to spin around, but it didn't. Nine. He killed the armored car. Way to go. That's going to end this battle right there. My uh, Panzer, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. He moved. So there's nobody for them to fire at now. Okay, my mortars could fire one, two, three at one of these trucks. So at range three, he's a minus two, but he's a plus one for his um, leadership. There's Skill. So that's a minus one to the die roll. He needs seven or higher. Minus one. Seven and six. So he missed. Okay. So the mortar was ineffective again. Okay. Now they're down to one, two, three, four. Oh, I had to get them down to three. They're not done yet. Okay. If we go to turn two, I got to get these guys. I just got to get one of them. <laughs> okay. Here we go. See what they're going to do. They're at minus two on this roll. It's a five. Minus two is a three. Stays right where he's at. They just hold. The convoy's pulled up and they're not doing anything. They can't fire at anybody. Um, well, I take that back. They can. They have guns on that thing. So they're at range one. He could fire at either one of these guys. So let's see. One to five. He'll fire at 1,002. Five. That's who he's firing at. At he needs an eight or higher to hit. He gets a four and a one. He missed. This guy can fire. We'll roll again. And he gets a five. He's firing at 1,002. He needs eight or higher. He got three and a five. Okay. No hits. These guys can't fire. All right. So now we come to my guys. Uh, 1,002 is going to move in there with him, but he can't. He's not going to fire because he's cautious. 1001 is going to move in right here with this truck. And he's going to attack. It's going to make him three on his uh, stress. It's going to add a stress, make Eschbach a three now, which makes him shaken. He moved zero minus two, but he gets a minus two. He needs a five. He needs a six to hit because it is an armored target. 
and he's minus two. Nine and five. He got one hit on that truck. The truck's defense is one. He got a nine, killed a truck. Bam, he went down in flames. He's down to three. That's the end. We eliminated the supply convoy. Okay, supply convoy is done. That's the end of that one. All right, so now all I gotta do is total up my stress, <laughs> see who's where. I think Eschbach may qualify for this proven in battle deal. We gotta pull an event card here for the post combat. Uh, gain five SOs, nice. All right, all right, you just gained five SOs. Pull my guys off of here. So the exposed comes off. All of these come off. I didn't have any damage. That was a successful raid by my infantry group. They took care of that. These guys all got to get on their um, stress levels. See who gets promoted. And I believe when I add two, it's going to make him uh, broken, which is going to give him uh, two extra experience points, which will get him promoted. So let's see what happens here. And I'll be on my uh, computer sheet. And I'll let you see there. And then we'll come back for the end of the week. Okay. All right. So here we are. Um, got all these guys recorded. They go under the 1S. Um, so uh, we're going to end up with... Um, some high stress levels over here, but that works out because I have the event that gave guys that were uh, broken uh, two extra experience points, which is going to cause a couple of promotions. Um, the other guys were all going to be, they're okay. Although Oswald is at his limit already. And then we'll have to go in and check them. We did uh, eliminate this target also, so we got two more victory points. That gives us a total of four now for the week for week one, which isn't great, but I got rid of um, a couple things that I wanted to get done. And uh, we'll be ready to uh, reach out and start week two shortly. We're going to have a couple promotions, though, and... Um, those will work out um, well and I'm looking forward to uh, the next week I think I can get a couple more <laughs> so I fixed all my formulas down here so we're ready to go so I hope you uh, enjoy this and we will um, get back over to the board and we'll wrap up the end of the week with the battalion movements and That'll be the end for week one. I apologize for my audio here on these. Uh, hopefully I'll get this squared away uh, for the next video. All right, everybody. I'll see you over to board again. All right. So here we go. We are at move battalions. So we're at this transit. Now, it said on this uh, for the Reich that we... Oops, come here. <laughs> Add five to all battalion operational move rolls during the first week. Oh, range zeros. I didn't add my one extra die. I should have been doing that all along. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. No problem. All right. Pull them off there. Okay, here we go. moves all that stuff's back up there we got a roll now for each one of these assaults um, see what they're going to do and we add five so we're looking at this table right here when we roll and see if they're going to move up or not <coughs> this first week all those assaults are going to move I don't think there's any way they can't he gets an eight so he moves yeah one to four assault groups one to four plus five there's all the assault groups are going to move i don't even need to do that 
uh, 4S. You gotta check these guys, make sure that they're not, if they're fixed or not. These are the three assaults. Um, he's fixed. Armor HQ. Two extra points, experience points if you destroy this battalion, do not move. So they'd be good to go after an HQ if I could get there. And then a fuel depot, rear, he's fixed. So none of those guys move. They stay all they all stay in the rear. At the end of the move battalion step, advance any one non-fixed battalion. So one of these guys is gonna move. Okay. So we're gonna roll one, two, three, four, five, six. And we rolled four. 8A is now into the German transit. And because he's there, I lose two SO points. Okay. Okay, I lost two SO points. And repair and replace. So this costs me um, two points to fix my engine. Uh, it cost me one to repair my Stug. That's three. And then this SDKFC had a suspension, so I used four to uh, repair my armor. And those all go back in the cup, so that's four more I gotta take off. So four off of that seven, now I'm down to three. Okay. And the last thing I'm gonna do is look through these guys real quick. The medic. I'm just going to verify real fast that I think he spins two medic. Each of your medics can do one of the following. Freely remove a wounded commander counter, freely remove a casualty damage, or freely remove two stress from one commander. You know what? I had a team that had a casualty. He's got to remove that. That's what I'm going to do. I did not do that on this... Um, it was uh, my anti-tank team, I do believe. So I'll spend my two from my medic to do that. Okay, got my armor back. So I now have 20 points of which I can upgrade. Um, so first thing we do next turn is we can buy uh, new units. This boy's got to go. Uh, and, uh, and then see if I can afford maybe one more armor unit. We'll see. Okay, that's for the next turn. That's the end of this turn. Sorry, it took a little longer. It did the first turn, uh, I had to get back into the swing of it a little bit, but now that I've got it back, now the game's playing this the way I like to play it. So, had a lot going on. That was a good, that was a good mission. Those SO points helped me there. I uh, knocked that supply out of there. I'm going to have to deal with 8A next turn. And um, 8A is a six tank assault force. Holy crap, but he's worth four victory points. So that's why I got to have better tanks because I'm going to have to go after this guy. The mortars are there, the machine guns, and the half track. So this may be one of those where I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I'm going to have to play this one pretty heavy. Um, this guy's not bad to go after. Uh, the mixed combat force, it'd be good to go after, but, but two tanks, two anti-tank guns. I gotta be really careful there. Um, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta check this out. This is gonna be, this is a big one to go after. Then there's the heavy weapons, which do not have any armor again. So again, I could go after these guys, see if I could get rid of them. He got plus two on his tactical move rolls on this one. So, yep, that's what we're going to be up against. So I definitely got to get me a better tank, get rid of this guy for sure. I'll get four points for him, though, so that helps offset the cost. All right, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, leave your comments and give me that thumbs up or like the video. Okay, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give them a Russian commander. Well, it's too late now, so we'll get the next one out. All right, guys. See you later.